Hello and welcome to the third part of the Marisco video tutorial series. In this video, we will show you how to create a project and enter the first information. After logging into your account, the start page will open. Here you can see all your projects. To create a new project, click on the plus symbol. This will open the first window. Here you can enter detailed information about your project. You don't have to fill out all the fields. However, you must at least enter a project name and specify the project duration. The reference number is automatically assigned by the software to uniquely identify your project. Currently, the Marisco software offers three different languages, English, German and Spanish. You can also display other languages on the elements in the systemic situation model, but more on that later. You can also invite other people to collaborate in your project. On the top right, you will find a list of users. After selecting a person, you can define how the person should participate in your project. To do this, open the role menu and select one of the three options. Project managers have unlimited user rights. Observers can view your project but cannot make changes to it. Project team members have limited user rights. They can make changes but cannot make major decisions, such as deleting the project. Once you have entered all the data you want to enter, click on the Save button below and you will automatically be taken to the next step. At each step, you will find an explanation of the task to be performed during the step on the right side. More detailed information is also available and usually includes definitions and examples. In the first step of the method, the motivation, expectations and vision of the project are defined. Before you start with the actual work, it can be helpful to write down what motivated you to start it in the first place. You can use this later as an impulse to keep going in case your work does not progress. Likewise, it is recommendable to document what outcomes you expected to achieve through this process, since it will provide you and your team with a starting point for a discussion and may help at certain points to avoid frustration. A shared vision can be a useful tool to motivate and unify your team. Keep the duration of your planning cycle in mind during the formulation, since it will influence how much you can achieve. During the final step of this phase, the geographical scope of your planning area will be defined, which will set the boundaries for your analysis. Do not worry too much about potential mistakes. The different working steps can always be revised later on as the process unfolds. The second step is to define the planning area of the project. In the first text field, you can enter the name of the planning area. The second text field is for the country or countries where the project will be implemented. This will later allow you to find other projects more quickly in the Marisco database that are implemented in a similar context. 